What's going on, everybody? How you doing? Steven Aslanga here, and uh, I want to welcome you all. This is going to be a live stream, and uh, this video topic is advice on getting your haircuts and hair tips. Now, I've done plenty of videos on this specific topic, and I figured I want, want to do it again because I keep getting emails over and over and over again from people that want to know what to tell their barber, what to tell their stylist. And I've like, please subscribe, turn on notifications um, so you can see my videos. How's everybody doing? Um, so please turn on notifications so you can list, watch my videos and the topics that you keep emailing me about. So everybody wants to know, what do I tell my barber? What do I tell my hairstylist? What do I do for a certain type of haircut? You know, what's going on everybody? Um, Everyone wants to know this. So my advice is the simplest thing you can imagine is, see, si, poquito. I'm doing good, uh, Hugo. The simplest thing I can, I can tell you is to take a photo on your phone, like go, go to Google or go to Getty Images and type in the name of the person that you want your hair to look like and... On your phone, either take a screenshot of it, um, go into the barber shop or the stylist and say, this is what I want. You know, everybody asks me what to tell them. I don't know. You, you show them a photo. It's up to them as professionals to be able to duplicate that photo. You know what I mean? Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, you know, and that's what I suggest, whether you're male or you're female, now, it is very different if you are a male or female when it comes to your hair because for a female, uh, if you're going into your stylist, my advice is that you need to just be open with your stylist and tell them something that you don't like, uh, tell them something that you know, you're looking for, and, and do some research on the stylist. And this goes for both men and women. Do the research. How's everybody doing? Do research on the stylist that you're going into or the barber look them up on instagram look them up on youtube see what they have see what kind of work they do you know what i mean oh that's messed up ethan um so you know look them up and see what kind of work they do if they do work that you think you like then go in or give them a call find out how much they charge book an appointment that's what that's what you i would suggest doing you know if if you are unhappy with the way you're person is cutting your hair then <clears throat> give it up um michael i'm doing all right man hang in there and uh you know so that's what i suggest is to do research and hello hold on a second what's what's this here lucas luca hello luca how are you um so that's what i would suggest you know what i mean Thank you, Brandon. Thank you. Thank you, Stacy. I appreciate that. Uh, if you're a professional hairstylist, let me know. Let me know in the comments if you're a professional. Um, ask me some questions. Let me know if you have any, you know, if you need advice on what to ask your barber or what to ask your stylist. Have you ha ever had any que problems with them? You know what I mean? Uh, Alex, I've been busy. I've been having an injury. You know what I mean? Um... I have herniation in my neck and my back. Um, oh, cool, man. You cut your hair yourself. That's awesome. You know, I have a lot of people that tell me they cut their hair themselves from watching my videos, which is interesting. <laughs> you know? Uh, so, yes, that's my... How do you make a messy hairstyle still look nice? So, every hair strand, like the many I have on my head, <laughs> has, to, has to have a place. You know, it, doesn't, it could be messy, but it has to have some sort of structure to it. That's my best advice. If you want to mess your hair up, make sure it looks good, but have some structure. Um, Gabe, man, I don't know. A perm could damage your hair, to be honest with you, especially a uh, straightening perm. I don't know. Um, Raphael, I'm not doing any haircut tutorials really right now. Um, let me see. Ethan trims my haircut too short. Even if it's at home, you're growing out. You know, you might want to try somebody else. Your stylist did not like your hair um, like you want them to do. Leslie, you might want to just call back and um, say, look, I'm not happy with the color, you know, and, and go in, either get your money back or 
tell them you want them to fix it, you know? Uh, wax um, might not, it can damage, not really damage, but um, the best product for pre-styles, I actually have my own product called pre-style, which is to me one of the best because it's an actual pre-styler. Hello from Romania. Thank you, RJ. I appreciate that, man. Um, so yeah, that is my advice, you know? Um, how do you highlight black hair, dark red? Uh, it depends. It really depends. If you want a vibrant, dark hair, really, really vibrant. Uh, if your hair is natural, never been colored before, you could pretty get it fairly easily. Or you might have to strip your hair. Stripping your hair means bleaching it to a kind of orangey color and then putting um, a bright red color on it. How to get wavy hair with blow dryer. Um, you need to scrunch it. Use low, low volumes, low speed volume um, on the blow dryer, like low speed and... Just really scrunch your hair like this with the blow, just with my hand with the blow dryer and scrunch like this. Hold it, scrunch it, hold it, scrunch it. You have to use your hands like this and hold the hair. Um, yeah, Yeezys are cool. I don't have, what are thoughts on male pattern baldness? Uh, hello? <laughs> it's nature, man. Nature, nature makes it. You're a girl and you have long hair. If you want a really short hair, like an undercut, do I go to a stylist? Yes, I would suggest that. Plus, it's going to make it even more curly when you do the character treatment. Yeah. Thank you, Gabe. I appreciate that. Um, does your hair have to be dry to use hair clay? I would suggest, RJ, honestly, yes. Um, how do you style your hair using a blow dryer? I've done many videos on that. Um, hello, Brandon. I've done many, many videos on how to blow dry hair. Keratin perm or not worth it? It all really depends. A perm makes your hair curly. Keratin makes your hair more straight and defrizz. Uh, it defrizzes, but it depends what you want to do. You know, keratins could damage your hair uh, if done improperly. Perms could damage your hair if done improperly. You know what I mean? So, um, let me see. Anything else? Well, I want to keep this video somewhat short. Um, but uh, beard tips. It all depends on your... I'm trying to grow my beard. What do you guys think? Do you like my beard longer? Do you like it shorter? Um, Ellis, if you go to my YouTube channel, um, there's a link in the description to my own shop, or you can get my stuff in Europe. There's a link to my Europe shop as well, um, on mocur.com. They sell my stuff in Europe and I sell my stuff in the United States. Thank you. I don't know. I just feel like when I keep growing it, it just looks too out of control. So I've been trying to keep it a little more slim here, but, um, I don't know, man. Keep your beard long, man. Looks good. Thank you, Gabe. <laughs> What's everybody doing for Christmas? How do you make your hair grow faster and your beard is good? Thank you. Ardre, watch my video, How to Make Your Hair Grow Faster. Uh, holy crap. It's got more. Would the messy hairstyle look better with medium short sides or short? I'm guessing medium short, right? Uh, yes. I love your beard. Thank you. Um, what do I do to grout undercut? Watch my video, How to Grout Your Undercut. Like, you guys are asking me all sorts of great questions, but the, you must not be subscribed or something like that. But, like, these are all videos I've done. Like, you got to go on my channel. I have over a 1,000 videos. So does just using conditioner close your hair out faster? Because I know shampoo takes out all the natural oils. Um, not all shampoos, Travis. I have a shampoo um, that actually is for volume, and it makes your hair grow thicker and promotes healthier hair growth that doesn't strip out the oils. Um, so not all natural Shampoo strip the oils. It just more cleanses the hair. Um, and conditioner just softens the hair, to be honest with you. Um, thanks, man. I appreciate that. You've seen the videos, Joey. Thank you, man. I see. Half my hair is wavy, curly, and straight. So is it difficult to style? Can you please tell me some techniques to manage it? Um, your hair is wavy, 25% curly, and 25% straight. That's interesting. Um... I don't know. To be honest with you, you just got to work with it. I would probably try to blow dry it, you know, blow dry it straight. Best clippers, I don't know. I've been using the Magic Clips. Those are pretty good. Um, honestly, they're pretty user-friendly. Kenneth, I'm not really doing hairstyles right now, haircut tutorials as much. Really thin, and I don't know, you're still growing out. Um, Joey, I would try my product. Uh, I have... 25 spray, which is really good. I have Fortify shampoo and conditioner. It actually promotes healthy hair growth and thicker hair growth. Um, I'm telling you, it works. 
Stacy, my hair is curly underneath and straight on top. That happens, Stacy. You know. Um, Five hundred subscribers, a gift for you for Christmas. Thank you. <laughs> the perfect length for an undercut, honestly, Raphael. Anything that comes down to like, I'd say around this area, right, the eyebrow area, because you can slick it all back. Something that you can slick back and it'll stay, that you can kind of brush over. So I'd say about like five or six inches is like a really good length uh, for an undercut, you know? Does type of round brush matter when blow drying? Yes, Jonathan. Um, blow drying hair every day. Any tips for long undercut like styles? Tips, I mean, just... It depends on, you know, make sure you have some sort of style to it, you know, be diverse with it. Maybe flip it around to one side, flip it to the other side, maybe try some braids. Just just change it up a little bit. Hola. Brandon, do you supply your products to the UK? Yes, Kaleo. Uh, if you go to my YouTube channel and you look in any of the descriptions, it says, you know, Europe, um, Europe shop here. Click on that link. It's mocure.com. They're in the Netherlands. And they actually ship to Europe, England. So definitely check them out. Your hair is super straight. Updated version of g -Eazy. Not anytime soon. Um, Lukowski, Francisco. Perfect length for sideburns. It all really depends. Um, what age is a beard full? It all depends. Uh, let's see. You all blow um, they don't they? I'm in the United States. Uh, my hair is straight. Can you suggest any celebrity haircut? I mean, anyone. <laughs> There's so many. Alpha, typical alpha. It depends on what you want, man. How to get a strong beard? You know what? It's all genetics, to be honest with you. I don't do anything to my beard. Nothing. I put no products in it. I let it grow. It's really genetics, man. Honestly, it's genetics. Um, your hair is wavy and straight. I don't know how to use... How to style using everyday hair drape every day. Um, let me see. Yes, Instagram, the salon guy. Hello there. Great channel, growing in my curly hair. Any tips? Throwing, um, it depends, Isa. You have to really use a good product. Um, while you're growing it out, I would probably use some sort of strong cream gel. I have a cream gel called Power Cream. So you might want to embrace the curl a little bit and scrunch it. You know, use like a scrunching technique. Uh, to be honest with you, um, while it's growing out. Let's see here. Tips for men with frizzy hair trying to get straight hair. Yes, Jonathan. One, use smoothing products. I have my I have smoothing products. One's called Plush, which makes it really smooth. And also use a, a brush and use the blow dryer. Watch my video, How to Straighten Curly or Wavy Hair. Ice Jr., what do I tell my barber if I want the more hair on the right side and the back, and if I want a smooth transition... Basically, what you tell him is what you just typed in. That's it. You got to communicate. Um, see you, RJ. How can you fix a widow's peak hairline? So if you have a widow's peak like here and you want to get rid of that widow's peak, guess what? Cut it straight across. Go to a barber and tell him to do a lineup right in the front. But just remember, once you cut that widow's peak, guess what? <laughs> you're going to cut it and you're going to have to get that done for life ever since. Um... My watch, this is my own watch, my salon guy watch right here. Uh, actually, upside down. I had this custom made for me. Uh, most of my viewers, United States, then um, Canada, then UK, and then like India, then Philippines. You bleached your hair, awesome. Video where subscribers submit their hairstyles and you tell them tips to fix their hair and rate their hairstyle. That's a good idea, Kenneth. It's Lawrence. what's going on, man? Lawrence, how you doing? Uh, permanently smooth if you use a product? No, nothing. The only way to get it permanently smooth, it's impossible to get it permanently smooth. Last question. What kind of hairstyles did you rock back when you had hair? Just curious. Um, I did have kind of like a mushroom type haircut. I had a surfer type haircut when I was younger. I had like a straight down Caesar type haircut. I had like a wavy hairstyle. Um, thank you. Nice beard. Thank you. I appreciate that, Sonic. Nipple Strangler. <laughs> That's a good name. Thank you, Sonic. I appreciate that. Uh, I do ship to Mexico, Rafael. It's just the shipping. The shipping isn't too bad to Mexico, but I do ship to Mexico. Um, 
I'm not a barber. I'm a hairstylist, but I started back in 92. Nice beard. Thank you. I charge 75 for men and 150 for women. Is the middle parting hair cutting methods yours? No, that's just, I didn't create that. That's just a good way to section hair. Um, Julian, you bleached your hair and it's really frizzy. What can I do? Uh, you probably damaged it. So I would suggest using uh, like a conditioning treatment. Um, I have great hair products. Ed products have some volume and undercut. Allen, any of my products. I mean, pre-style is great. My new product, Clutch, is great. Joey, if I grow out my undercut, should I just square the sideburns and back? I mean, yeah. Do whatever, you, do what you want, dude. Um, I think the sideburns definitely squared out. Uh, I'm in the United States, Jeremy. Uh, again, Vyman undercut. My products pre-style. Go on my shop, you know. I want to get a trim for a medium hair, but don't know where to go for my trim. Go to a hairstylist. Thank you a little. I appreciate that. God bless too. Shampoo to make hair stronger. My pro, my shampoo fortify. Thank you, Julian. Best hair products for dry hair. My product twenty five spray, leave in spray, twenty five benefits and plush. Thick straight hair. Uh, it depends what you want to do with it. My new product clutch is amazing. All my male relatives are bald, and I'm twenty, and my hair is ninety percent. Your hair is ninety percent. What? Any ideas how to slow it down? Uh. Don't wear a lot of hats and use, I guess, good thickening shampoo. Um, how much hair fall per day is normal? I'd say 100 to 200 hairs a day. Um, how to grow hair fast? Maybe wash it every two or three days. Um, Spider-Man, what's going on? Alan, watch my videos on YouTube, how to grow hair faster. Like, subscribe and watch. I do that, you know what I mean? Can you suggest something, Scream Cream for Hans Fugo? Um, Eco, Scream Cream. Yes, my product, Hair Whip. I have one called Hair Whip, which is good. Oh, Kenneth, thank you, man. Uh, is conditioning your hair every day healthy for your hair? I mean, it helps make your hair feel smooth. That's for sure. That's what um, hair conditioner does. It makes it feel smooth. Uh, I would use a you know leave-in treatment spray, like my product 25. That really, really helps. Um, does hats make your hair fall out quicker? Yes, in my opinion. Shaved your head. What haircut should I ask for an undercut? Uh, you gotta let it grow, man. How do you, how do I get my hair to be more flexible? Wavy hair in six inches. More flexible? I don't really know what you mean. No, I don't have any Yeezys. Hello, lights, camera, Tamara. How are you? Have I used fiber grease by Cool Grease? No, I have no idea. Favorite styling products that aren't yours? Um, honestly, n nothing, <laughs> to be honest with you. Uh, oh, awesome, Kenneth. That's great. That's awesome, Julian. Briggs, what's up, Briggs? Colonel, uh, how you doing, man? What's going on? Thank you, lights, camera. How you doing? Captain, Captain Briggs. <laughs> hey, did you get my products, man? Hey, I'm doing all right. Uh, Captain, did you get my products? You're wearing a hat right now? That's cool. If you have a lot of hair and you don't have to worry about losing your hair, that's fine. Like, it's no big deal. But if your hair is really thinning, then you have to be careful. What haircut suits uh, a long face? I'm in the United States. Um, yes, I ship products to Canada. I'm from the United States. Let me see. Where, uh, suits a long face. So something that doesn't have like a whole, because if you have something really high, it just elongates the face. So you want to have something that adds a little more fullness into here and creates a little more roundness um, so that it doesn't ex elongate your face. Uh... What do you do when not styling hair and work with media? Nothing. That's literally my business. Um, when you put a hair whip, does it look like gel or makes it? No, it looks hair whip is very, very natural. Uh, it's a very natural product. It looks like there's really nothing in your hair, but it's good for controlling it. Uh, it's a great, it's a great product. It doesn't have a whole lot of holes or anything, but it's it looks it literally just a good finishing taming product. Hello there. What's the best best way to grow a beard? 
grow it. <laughs> 13, Joey, wow. Um, tips to avoid a receding hairline. Um, I don't know, man. It's going to happen. It's hereditary. You want to have a square hairline, but it's like an upside down U when you're only 16. Yeah, it's like this. Like I said, if you shave it, you're going to get rid of it, but you have to get it shaved every then. Um, 14. Awesome. Well, listen, guys. It's been 20 minutes. Uh, I was planning on doing this video for like 10 minutes. But in the comments below, if you're just watching this, Merry Christmas, Raphael. Um, let me know if this video helped you. Uh, again, there's links in the description to where you can purchase my products from my shop in the United States and also uh, a link to the shop in Europe. Uh, also, I have candles now. I have two amazing candles. They're great gifts. Uh, my new product, Clutch, is in. I have a dog shampoo, a children's shampoo and conditioner. I just launched this new boutique line, which is really, really good. So definitely uh, check it out. And again, watch my videos. I keep getting these questions. How to make my hair grow faster? Subscribe and watch my videos. I literally have a, a video titled how to make your hair grow faster. <laughs> yeah, Briggs, they're good, man. They're good. Power cream is good for like a really strong hold, man. You know what I mean? Um, how's everybody doing? All right, guys. Um, thin and broke, uh, fine hair. Literally, yeah, happy new year. If your hair is like fine, I mean, use products like Fortify or use something to make it thicker like talc. You know? But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Um, I will see you all very, very soon. Leave some comments below. Uh, this video is going to, um, once I'm done, it's going to render and then go lot and go on my channel so you guys can watch it. But um, that's it. So thank you, and I'll see you all very, very soon.